Thank you for viewing the Odd Socks and Fences installation vi video. You will be receiving a bag. In that bag will be a letter. The letter is a scarf made of socks as well as pins and a card identifying the project as Santa Monica is beautiful, a community art project utilizing eco-friendly materials to reflect diversity as well as our lawyers name and phone numbers for contact. We are going to go over the installation of how to do an odd socks and fences installation. We're first going to show how attached a letter is. We take at the beginning the end of the sock and we're using a large safety pin to attach it. In this case we are going to be taking down a G and replacing it with a G in white socks as white tends to be more readable than black we found out so I will find the start yeah. where I'm going the beginning letters should not touch one another there should be space between the letters basically it's a link of chain in the fence we go through the sock with the needle and then begin weaving the sock taking the end and in this case since I have the G here already I am just going to simply follow it when we are doing the installation your artistic touch will determine how the letters will look Letters that can be done in one movement, which are usually rounded letters, will be one piece. Uh, square letters are done in pieces, such as an I is made up of three pieces, and where the separate pieces join is a safety pin is used, and there will be safety pins found in your bag. And it simply just goes as you're seeing. I do have a guide. Mom, you will be no, figuring this fish. out. As you saw in the picture, get ready. There is a guide that will be mounted on the fence to take you through each step of the way. So fear not. You are, <laughs> you are going to have a guide. And it basically won't move this quickly because I have, I'm just following a path that's already been set, but uh, it should go fairly quickly. Thank you for viewing the video, and hopefully we'll see odd socks and fences everywhere.